I just got kicked out of my own interrogation room. Do you want some coffee, sir? No, Randy, what I want is that ATF punk to eat crow. Well, we know who did it and we know why. We just don't know how. What, with the, with the, the guy in the coma? He's the guy. Look, in 20 seconds, Agent Grooms is gonna come waltzing through that door and ask me what I think. Give me something else, for the love of God. Okay, wait, I have an idea. Maybe he had an accomplice. Yeah, somebody else mailed the damn thing for him. Why not? Harry had that idea. Tell him. There was no accomplice. Why would Brian Babbage hire one? He didn't know he was gonna be in a coma. Right, it's not exactly something you can plan. Wait, wait, why would an accomplice bother to go through with it? There was no reason the guy who hired him was in a coma. All right, so Brian built the bomb. And then Brian mailed the bomb by himself. Oh, yeah. While he was in a coma. You got to admit, it's, it's, it's a pretty good alibi. It's rock solid. Monk, I have known 15,000 criminals in my lifetime. Here's what they all have in common. They're conscious. Nonetheless. When does your shrink get back? Captain. Sorry about that in there. I uh, work better one-on-one. -on -one. No problem. So, uh, how's it look? He's bending, but not breaking. I'll get him. About to write up my uh, crime report. I'm going to list him as my primary. You'll sign off on that, right? It's easier to get an indictment if we're all on the same page. I'm thinking... Maybe it's the other brother. There's only one other brother, and he's in a coma. That's the one. I think uh, we should look into him. He's a vegetable, Captain. I know. So don't you think that eliminates him as a suspect? I'm just curious. How do you think he did it? We're working on that. You keep me informed. I'll keep you in the loop. Swell. <laughs>